This video is to show you about the cohort circle model and how that will affect your merit badge sign up. Please watch this short video. The first major change is the adoption of the campsite cohort circle model of the delivery of program. Just as in the past, you will be attending camp with your troop. And we are lucky in the BSA because we already understand the concept of the cohort model because of our use of troop and patrols or your packs and dens. Think of your troop or pack and the troops sharing the campsite for the leadership or space reasons as a closed group, circle, or cohort. Circles move together, work together, sleep together, play together, and they become a family unit for the purpose of social distancing and containment while at camp. This year, our troops or campsites groups will need to attend program areas together as opposed to our individual schedule concept we are used to. This brings us to the second and third so with that, uh, on your registration, since we will be traveling together as those cohorts, what you'll need to do is on your registration page, you'll see I made an example here. You've updated your contacts, you've chosen your campsite, listed your unit information, and then you have to go to your participant tab. Here you'll have a list of several youth participants. For each one, you will wanna go to the update information tab on that tab, you have all of their information written down, medical concerns, allergies, dietary restrictions are gonna be very important for our meal prep since we will be delivering meals to your campsites. With that, it's important to note the class merit badge schedule will not be used this year due to our cohort circle model. Here you can see that it says updated class schedule. Due to our cohort circle model, we will be rotating through all of the nine areas around camp. We need you to select one merit badge or activity within each of these areas as seen below. If your older scout would like to forgo participating in these activities, they can sign up for the Mountain Man Sharpshooter Frontier Experience. This will require them to be away from their troop for the entire week while they will get to participate in a pr primitive camping experience as well as participate in our advanced shooting sports opportunity. Select none in each of these categories if you're going to choose this experience. <coughs> So what you'll see here is that in outdoor skills, we will be offering camping, orienteering, or pioneering. In ecology, environmental science, soil and water conservation, space exploration. Note that in each category, it says none, and you will click this if you would like your order boy scout to participate in the Mountain Man Sharpshooter program. We have our swimming in our pool or instructional swimming or an older boy activity. First aid is going to be uh, where we have first aid done. Here's where you would select if you would like to do the mountain man or sharpshooter program. And notice the other five areas are off here to the right. Shooting sports, handicraft or scout skills where we'll be teaching basketry, leatherwork, wood carving, or citizenship in the world. In life skills, we will be doing farm mechanics, automotive, and home repairs. Lakefront, we'll be do canoeing, kayaking, fishing, and for older scouts, we have the opportunity for them to do paddle boards. Fishing will not be the merit badge, but it will allow the scouts the opportunity to go fishing at our lake. Um, and then our last area is the COPE and TTFC program. So your first class or 13 plus year old scouts um, will be able to participate in our COPE experience. And then those who would like to do TTFC uh, will do their rotation during this time. Please note our TTFC instructor is working with our other area directors to pinpoint other requirements for the Trail to First Class program that can be taught within each of those areas. For example, Trail to First Class First Aid, Trail to First Class Swimming requirements, the identifying of plants and animals, um, among other things like outdoor skills, tying knots, doing your lashings, as well as pinpointing orienteering points. If you have any questions, please email campcornhuskerbsa at gmail.com and speak with Sammy Lowry. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.